welcome dear students so this is a lecture number 35 the topic for this lecture is pregnancy and the parturition so in the previous lecture we dis uh, we discuss about the process of the oogenesis spermatogenesis now here we discuss about the what is the process of the pregnancy and what is the process for the parturition what is parturition what is pregnancy we discuss here in this lecture so basically we start from the introductory part so what is pregnancy pregnancy occurs when the sperm fertilize with the egg means where is when there is a process which done after the zygote formation they implant to the layer of the uterus that is endometrium layer from where they implanted after that the pregnancy period is started right so this is the basic about the pregnancy the pregnancy occurs when the sperm fertilize with the egg and they form the zygote the zygote then implanted the wall of the uterus that is the endometrium layer of the uterus and as soon as possible the implantation is takes place the need of nourishment are arises okay so here the zygote developed into the embryo which further grow into the baby means after the zygote formation they implanted to the endometrium layer of the uterus and they develop into the major uh, uh, into the major cell divisions and then they develop for the baby okay this responsibility is taken up by the layer formed between the baby and the mother and this is called as a placenta okay what is placenta placenta is a basically it's a layer which is protective for the baby and it is between the mother and the baby body so the placenta is formed by the cocoon and the uterine tissues so placenta is basically it is formed with the help of the cocoon these cells and these are the uterine tissues with the help of these the ut uh, placenta will formed now this is a diagram which shows that how the pregnancy get occurred means how the uh, egg will develop they matured they fuse with the sperm and they replicate or they uh, form the zygote and after that the formation of zygote they attach to the endometrium layer so this is the diagram which shows here so this is the structure of the ovary where the egg will uh, release and i already i already told you the process of the maturation a uh, uh, menstruation the process of the menstruation cycle is to after the 14th day of the menstruation cycle the egg will ovulate means there's ovulation day at that day the egg will properly mature so when the process of the ovulation is done then the matured egg will release out okay when the mature egg is released out then this ovum is fused with the sperm cells okay this ovum fused with the sperm cells and they forms the zygote so when they forms the zygote then there is a further division okay there is a further division there is a cleavage then there is a second there is a division of uh, there there is a day 2 so there is a cell which again replicate which is divided so it forms the two cells then four then 18 then 16 then 34 there is a multiplication of the cells so at the day 3 to 4 it is about to four cells stage and on the day 4th on the end of the day 4th there is a formation of the eight cells and after the day 4 or a day 5 there is a process of the implantation of the zygote okay so at the day 8th to 9th day the process of the implantation process is done at the this layer the layer is it is known as the endometrium and this layer occurs in the end part of the uterus 
So, uterus basically there is a three layers peri, um, perimetrium, myometrium and it is a last one is a endometrium. So, in the layer of the endometrium there is a implantation of the cell. Now, this layer plays an important role during the pregnancy which is briefly discussed as follows that it provide the nourishing and oxygen to the growing fetus and it is also removes or it is also clear the waste material given out by the fetus substituting the functions of the digestive system and the excretory system and uh, the placenta also release there are some hormones which releases the SCG hormone that is a human placenta ok. There is a human placental lactone, progesterone, estrogen, SCG hormones that is a human uh, coenoc, gonadotropin hormones and relaxins which are essential or which are necessary for the growth and development of the fetus. So, these are the some hormones which is release itself in the placenta or it is released due to placenta. Now, the umbilical cord, so the umbilical cord that connects the fetus to the placenta that helps the transportation of the substance required for the growth and development of the mother to the fetus. So, umbilical cord it is a connection between the baby and the mother from which the fetus get their nutrients or their supplements for the growth right. As soon as the implantation takes place the fertilized cell mass or embryo starts showing the trioblast nature of the human beings by the division into the three layers that is this gives rise the organ differentiation during the development of ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm ok. So, when the implantation occurs, when the implantation is done, then there is a differentiation start from the initial phase into the different different phases that is the ectoderm, mesoderm and the endoderm. All these steps after the implantation leads to develop the development of the baby and it takes 9 months in the human. So, the 9 months divided into the period of uh, trimesters, each trimester have a uh, 3 months. So, there are the 3 trimester, but there is a one, uh, one more trimester that is we call as a parturition period ok. So, in the pregnancy condition there are the 4 trimester including the parturition period otherwise there is a 3 trimesters. So, in the first trimester it is a between the first trimester is the first week, first week after the implantation of the zygote ok. So, the first trimester is start up to 12th week of the zygote implantation of the pregnancy and it is crucial time for the fetal development because there is a very, there is an initial phase. So, there is a crucial time for the implantation process. So, for the fetus at the conception the egg and the sperm combine to fuse the zygote which is implanted in the wall of the uterus and the zygote becomes an embryo as it divide and grow by the end of the 12th week all the body major parts or structure is started to develop they are begin to develop in the initial phases that is up to 12 week and this 12 this first 12 week of the pregnancy is known as the first trimester ok. The heart beat beating regularly means from this phase uh, from the hair the heart beat start ok. So, the fingers and toes have formed the fetus is around 3 inches long and weight is about to 1 pounds and this the nerve and muscles work together of the fetus can make the fist 
So, startingly these are the first trimester uh, process which is uh, held during the first trimester of the pregnancy. Now, second, so there is a second trimester of the pregnancy that is up to the 14th to 27th week. So, up to 14 to 27th week considered as a second trimester. So, this trimester consists of the 14 to 27 days or uh, sorry weeks and this fetus goes through the many changes during this time growing to the around about 1 long, 1 foot long and weighing about the 1.5 pounds, right. So, during this phase or during this trimester, the fetus will develop, it is up to by the end of the tri second trimester, the following conditions will happen. So, there is a meconium, the first bowel movement has developed into the intestine. The fetus can see here and uh, sucking the motions or scratch itself, there is a some motion started from the second trimester and the skin here nails have uh, formed. The lungs have formed but do not properly work because lungs started, uh, if the lungs will started the working then the fluid will stuck into the lungs. So, the lungs will form but they not work, but right. Now, in the male, so in the male testes will have to move to the scrotum because there is a development of the process. So, the test and uh, the testicles will have to move the scrotum and the female eggs will have formed the ovaries, right. Bones marrow is making the blood cells. Now, here from the second trimester from the bone marrows, there is a formation of the blood cells. Now, there is a third trimester. So, third trimester is about it is the last month of the pregnancy and this is a third trimester and it is from 29th week until the birth of the child until the world of birth of the child there is a tri, uh, there is a third trimester so it is considered as around up to 40th week so means it is from the 29th to 40th week so it is a third trimester and during this condition the fetus most of the organ body system are formed now they are will continue to more grow and mature. So, after the formation after the entire development growth and development of the baby or the fetus is completed now they are properly developed the organs are more developed they are properly functioning okay during this trimester the bones are become too hardening the bones are becomes too hard lungs formation becomes complete in the second trimester the lungs start to uh, develop and at the end of the tri trimester they are completely developed but still they are not working towards the delivery the fetus drop the lower into the person's abdomen and usually turns the head down. So, during the condition of the parturition or during the condition of the delivery means when the when the starting of the labor pain the body of the body sorry baby is becomes down the head becomes a downward portion. Now, these are the three trimesters and this is the fourth trimester at it is known as a postpartum okay postpartum means there is a period after the delivery of the child so the three months after delivery play a key role in the health of the person person means there is a mother okay the health of the mother and their baby their translation period is called as the fourth trimester and there are the some challenges between uh, this uh, fourth 
trimester that is the recovering after the de delivery especially if there is the stitches. So, there during the same there is some conditions where is the delivery is natural or there is some cesarean conditions. So, in cesarean conditions there are some time to heal up these stitches. It deal with the losha discharge of the blood and tissues which may be continue for the several weeks. So, after the postmortem period, so during the postpartum period or during the fourth trimester, there the is still bleeding or there is still discharge of the blood. Okay. Now, there is a cramping, there is a still cramping which may be feel like a menstruation cramping especially during the breast feeding. So, these are the condition, these are the challenges during the uh, fourth tri uh, four trimester or the postpartum period of for the mother. Now, this is a diagram to show the structure that how the baby uh, present into the uterus. Okay. So, there is a this is an amniotic sac. What is amniotic sac? Amniotic sac actually this, this is a bag which is covered around the baby that is an amniotic sac then placenta. I already told you what is placenta, placenta which connects the mother to the fetus for the nutrition. Right? Now, the third one is the amniotic fluid. So, inside the amniotic sac, there is a fill, filling of the amniotic fluid. So, this fluid try, this fluid uh, help to try from the mechanical damage or mechanical damage or me, uh, mechanical injury of the child. Now, uterus, uterus basically it is the reason where the implantation occurs. So, this is the uterus part, this is the cervix. So, during the condition of the delivery of the child, this cervix can dilate, it dilate more and more at about, about 4 to 5 centimeters, it dilate more and if the dilation is not occur, then there is a some incisions are done. Now, last one is the vagina. Okay. So, pregnancy occurs when the sperm fertilize with the egg, its zygote form. The zygote gets implanted into the wall of the uterus. As soon as possible, the implantation takes place. The need of nourishment and the, and the, and the care arises as the growth of the zygote develop into the embryo which is further grow into the baby. So, this is a process of how the pregnancy get occurs inside the uterus. Now, so there is a partition. This is all about the trimester period. This is all about the pregnancy periods. Now, there is a partition period. So, partition means childbirth and it is known as the labor. It is the mechanism of singling the onset of a labor or the procedure of delivering the child after the completion of the pregnancy period. The child the or the development of child is born with the release of the cortisol. So, there is a, some hormone which is responsible during for the development of the child that is a cortisol. So, during the parturition period or the, the parturition process, the cervix dilate and relax along with the cortisol, oxytocin and estrogen hormones and these release to the beginning of the milk production and the labor. So, oxytocin hormones, estrogen hormones as well as cortisol, these are released during the Partition period because oxytocin, what is the role of the oxytocin? Oxytocin try to increase the contractility, increase, increase the contraction into the body because during the labor pain, there is a high, there is a so much contraction into the body by which the baby comes out from the body of the mother. So, during the Parturition, the uterus contracts to push the fetus towards the cervix, cervix and continue 
until the fetus come down with the birth canal and this process the head should be comes out first. So, dur if during the uh, partition period when the child will uh, deliver from the baby uh, from the mother's womb. So, first the head will come out and then after that there the whole body comes out from the womb. Now, it is a process of the contraction of the uterus at regular intervals that helps in the delivery of the ba baby at the end of the pregnancy. The signal that fully developed the fetus sends through the placenta for the ejection is called fetal ejection reflex means when when the baby is properly grow and the growth and development of the baby is completed at the entire period of the these trimesters then there is a some signal pathways. So, by the these signal pathways the signals comes that is called the fetal ejection reflexes these signals induce the muscle contractions due to this the labor pain will happen. So, this time period from the fertilization to the to the childbirth it is known as the gestation period. So, from the process of fertilization to the process of childbirth this entire period is known as the gestational period. Now, there is a stage uh, there is a some stages of the parturition. So, there is a some stages of parturition there are the three stages of parturition there is a dilation latent and there is a dilation. So, dilation start with the onset of the labor that continue until the cervix is uh, com uh, completely dilated the dilation this dilation divide into two phases that is a latent phase or active phase. So, in the latent phase when the cervix is dilated about two uh, 0 to 4 centimeters and in the active phase the cervix is dilated up to 4 to 10 centimeters. The latent phase takes around 6 hours for the female delivering the baby for the first time and it is about 5 hours for the delivery for the second time. It is depends on the uh, mother's body. Then expulsion. So, expulsion this stage start the fully dilation and continue until the birth. This stage and this stage also divide into the two sub part that is passive phase or the active phase. So, in the passive phase the baby head start moving out from the vagina and this active phase the mother contract the abdominal muscles along with the uterine contractions. This stage and with the childbirth and umbilical cord will be clamped. Now, there is some hormones involved during the parturition. So, there is a hormone estrogen which is a major role in the co uterine contraction. Oxytocin it help it again help in the uterine contraction and this relaxin it help in the pelvic ligaments widen the cervix. So, these are the li uh, ligaments which help to the widen the cer uh, cervix for that proper dilation right. Now, next is the prostaglandins. So, it is synthesized in the um, um, anion and the acronion that facilitate the surface ripening changing the membrane structure contraction by the myometrium. Now, it is the now last one is the lactation. So, lactation it is the production of the milk by the mammary glands at the end of the pregnancy. The milk production initially by the gland it is called as the colostrum and this milk is crucially for the baby as it provides the child with the initial immunity. So, the first feed the first six months feeding provide the uh, baby to the um, uh, to give the immunity to a child. So, this is this uh, lactation occurs in the postpartum period ok. This is this is during the fourth trimester this including the fourth trimester and this is the part of the postpartum postpartum. So, this is all about the pregnancy and the partition. Thank you.